In this video, you will learn how you can quickly create ebook with AI and Google Docs. Here, you will learn how to generate an ebook cover with AI, create table of contents, learn how you can style and format your ebook to give it a nice look. Plus, I will give you all the prompts you need to write your ebook with ChatGPT from start to finish. By the end of this video, you will have all the tools and knowledge required in order to create high quality ebooks efficiently. So, hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get into it. Before we get into creating our ebook with AI, I have to be real here and tell you that creating ebook with AI is still very time consuming and it's not a 10 minute work, especially if you want to create a high quality product. If you want to bypass this process and have a ready done for you ebook at your fingertips, you may want to consider PLR Me ebooks. These ebooks are nicely designed and well formatted. They include plenty of content, they are enhanced with nice imagery and they come in Word document formats so you can easily edit them, claim your offership, rebrand it, give it away as lead magnets or resell for the profit. So if you're short on time and you want to get access to an ebook written by industry professionals, PLRME ebooks are worth checking out. And the best part, I have a special link in my description which will give you 10 free credits, those you can use to download a free high quality ebook in PLRME. They have plenty of niches available, what you have to do is to adjust the slider to 10 credits and find your favorite ebook in your desired topic. And if you want a tutorial on how you can easily edit these ebooks, I have made one, I will leave a link to it in my description so you can check that out. So let's get into writing our ebook with AI. We're going to write ebook on this topic, Mastering Productivity, Daily Habits That Actually Work. For that, we will use ChatGPT. You can also use DeepSeek if you like. If you don't have a premium ChatGPT subscription, I highly recommend that you use free version of DeepSeek. As you can see here, we have free prompts I created to write our ebook from scratch. And the reason why we're using free prompts is that both ChatGPT and DeepSeek are incapable of producing large chunks of text at once. So for several thousand word ebook, we definitely should write it section by section. We also want to have more control over the writing process and make sure that AI stays on track. So the first prompt will create us a brief structure. The second prompt will generate ebook outline with sections and image placeholders. And the third prompt will tell AI to actually write the content while choosing your preferable style. Here we also have an AI image generation prompt if you would like to generate ebook cover with AI. I will touch on this later on. And all of the resources in this video will be in the description below. I will leave a link to Google Docs to access these prompts so you don't have to write them. So let's start with the first prompt. I decided I'm writing a 30 page ebook with a mix of text and images, assuming 250 words per text page. This is the industry standard, by the way. And first of all, I asked to calculate the total word count, suggest the ideal number of sections for smooth flow, and provide the number of images needed for the best visual balance. I'm doing one image per five pages, but you can do however you like, maybe one image per two pages, one image per three pages, and so on. So I'll copy this prompt and I'll run it into ChatGPT. So it's given me this info. The total word count for our ebook will be 6,000 words. The ideal number of sections, we have seven to eight sections and we'll need six images. So I'll copy this information to my notes. We will use this information for our second prompt and as for the second prompt here i asked to create a detailed outline for export ebook on certain topics so we have 6000 words i think yes we have 6000 words i'll just put that here and the topic we have it here then in terms of sections we have seven to eight sections And for the images, we have six images. So create a detailed outline for 6,000 word ebook about mastering productivity, daily habits that actually work. Include seven to eight main sections in H1, each with two to three subsections in H2. Provide estimated work count per section and use six image placeholders. Additionally, clearly indicate where each image should appear in the outline. Describe each image using a few keywords to make it easy to find on royalty-free image sites. So we'll use these keywords, for example, to quickly find our images. And lastly, ask to occasionally incorporate bullet points within the outline where it would improve clarity and readability. For example, lists, steps, or grounded tips. I copy this prompt and I'll paste it into ChatGPT. And I'll wait for it to write me an outline. So it created us an outline, we can see it did as we asked, it created sections with several subsections as well as the image placeholder text. So what we do, we copy the entire outline and paste it into our notes. We will need to reference this outline from time to time, so let's keep it somewhere safe. Just paste it here. 
And the last prompt we will use is for actually writing our ebook. Here I say we will now write the ebook section by section, formatting instructions, use h1 for main section headings and use h2 for each subsection. So here I ask to format our headings right away. This will save us a lot of time during the process. Here you can choose from the styles that you want your ebook to be written on. I'll just leave it story driven because this style drives the engagement and maybe leave the inspirational as well. I also ask for each H2 subsection to include one to two relevant statistics, examples or mini anecdotes and with one clear actionable takeaway and bold key terms to help the skimmers absorb the main points. And lastly, I ask do not insert horizontal lines or dividers between sections, write it as a smooth continuous document. I do this because both ChatGPT and DeepSeek like to insert these type of horizontal lines like dividers between the sections and we don't want that in our ebook. So let's copy this prompt and paste it into ChatGPT. And since we are writing our ebook section by section, we are going to start with the introduction. Here I, may, I might say something like, now write this and let's copy the introduction. So it's written in the introduction. Once we have the intro, we can copy and paste it into our Google Docs. We get rid of that. And we do exactly the same for our next section. So I'm going to copy this prompt again. Say, now write this. And I'll provide the first section outline. Here we have our first section written. We just copy that again and paste into our document. So you do the same thing for each section. I'm not going to force you to watch how I write the entire ebook, so I'll just speed it up and get back to you once I'm done. So here I have generated the entire ebook. Here on the left we can see we have navigation bar and that indicates that our headings are properly formatted. So the readers can use this bar to conveniently navigate across our ebook. And now what I will do is get rid of these section names. I don't like this to be displayed on each section, so I'll get rid of that. And I also don't like these H2 displayed, so we definitely don't want that in our ebook. For this, I'll just hit Ctrl F. If you're on a Mac, you do Command F. And I find these section names. And I'll get rid of these quickly. So I cleaned my ebook a little bit, I got rid of these unnecessary bits and I highly recommend that you do the same, you go through your book and check if everything's fine. Now what I'll do, I'll enable showing non-printing characters, I go to view and select show non-printing characters. What it does, it displays invisible spacing, tabs and paragraph breaks so it makes formatting a lot easier. So let's start with planning our pages. First of all I plan to have a book cover page, so I'll name it book cover. Then I will have the title page. And I will also have table of contents page. And all of these three pages will go before our content page. Oh, here and also get rid of the introduction. I don't want that here. So what I will do, I will insert the page breaks for each of our pages. So I'll put the cursor before our second page. I'll go to insert, break, page break. I'll do the same for table of contents page, I'll go insert and page break. So what it does, it basically forces the text after the page break to appear on the next page. This is a very useful feature to help us with formatting. Basically whatever goes after page break must start on the next page. And we also here want to isolate the table of contents page, so I'll do that here too. So now we have prepared some space for our first pages and let's start with the cover. If you already have the cover design you can skip this step but I'm going to create it and for that you have basically two options. You can either do this in Canva, they have a lot of nice cover design templates or the fastest way is to generate it with AI. And since I promised we are creating ebook with AI here, let's do the cover with AI too. For that I created the prompt which you can use to generate covers with AI. Here I'll put my ebook title. Then you can also provide your subtitle. My subtitle will be Daily Habits That Actually Work. And the offer name, I'm going to put my name here. Here we have several ebook styles you can choose from. We can also play around with additional options, but what I'll do, I'll just copy this bit here. 
put it into ChatGPT and I will ask it to provide five different versions. I will put those into AI image generator. Now AI generated me several prompts. I'll copy the first prompt and put into AI image generator. For this purpose, I'll use Ideogram, but you can use any AI generator you like, like Midjourney, Leonardo, ChatGPT, Sora, whatever. I just found that Ideogram does create really beautiful images and it deals quite well with the text. I use the Pro version, but you can also use its free plan if you like. It's just you will have to wait between image generations a little bit. Before I generate the image, I want to set the correct size for our cover. To find out your cover page size, we head back to Google Docs. You click File, Page Setup, and here it says it uses 8.5 x 11 inches. I know that this is somewhere close to 4 by 5 ratio, so I'll just keep that here. And I'll just hit generate and load this up with all AI cover variations that ChatGPT provided me at once. So the ideogram has generated us 5 sets of cover images, and this styling I like the most. I think I'm going to proceed with that image here. Looks pretty cool, futuristic design, I like that, and I'll just hit download. Now that we have our book cover image ready, we can insert that into our document. I'll get rid of this. We click on the book cover page, insert image, upload from computer, and you locate your image. Here we can see that our image is not really movable, so for this we have to tweak a few options. First of all, we have to move this image in front of the text. And then we select fixed position on page. In this way, you have image which is freely movable and it's locked into this particular page. So we just drag it over all our cover. Here it is, looks good. Next, we go ahead and create our title page. So this one's really easy. We just get rid of that, move this somewhere to the center, make it bigger, put it in the center, and underneath, maybe we just write our offer name. Make this a bit smaller, make this bolder, and that's fine. Then we have to insert the table of contents. Whether your readers use Google Docs or PDF file to read this book, they will be able to conveniently navigate it through the table of contents. For that, we give it a name, table of contents. Make it a little bit bigger. And we place the cursor wherever we want to insert the table of contents. So maybe somewhere here. I'll go to insert, table of contents, and you have three options. You can either insert it as a plain text, you can do this with dotted styling, and we can also do this with hyperlinks. I click on that. Here it is, nice table of contents with clickable elements. To make it center, we just highlight everything and click this one. We also center the title. And here we have it. Now that we finally created three pages, it's time for us to work with the actual ebook. Oh, and what I forgot, we also need to add page breaks between our sections as we want each section to start in the new page. So for this, I'll, I'll do again page breaks. I place the cursor before my section heading. I go to insert, break, page break, and we do the same for the rest of our sections. So now each section of our ebook starts on a new page, which gives our ebook nice polished look. So now let's slightly customize the content. The first thing we can customize is our heading and there is an easy way to do that. Let's highlight this heading here. We can see that it's formatted and Google Docs recognizes it as heading one. This heading is using Arial font and let's say we want to change it into something like Georgia. So we do that. Perhaps we want to make this heading a little bit bigger and we want to change its color to purple to make it match our cover. So we can go around and apply the same style for each of these sections, but the faster way to do that is to highlight this bit here, go to the styling tab and update heading one to match. So now we can see that all of our section headings is using the same font, the same color and the same size. The same thing you can do for the smaller headings. Perhaps you want to change the color to navy we do that, we go to heading 2, update heading 2 to match, and you see all of the heading 2 elements are using the same color. And the same you can do for the body text, perhaps you want to have a slightly larger spacing between them, so you go to line and paragraph spacing, you increase that to 1.5, you go to normal text, and update normal text to match. And as you can see, our entire body text is using the same spacing. I'll just leave it as it was. 
When you have these paragraph marks enabled, you can go through the entire document and see if there are any unnecessary spaces or gaps in there. My document is clean, I don't need to see these marks, so I'll just go ahead and disable them. View, show non-printable characters, I'll turn this off. Now it's totally down to individual preference, but I like to squeeze the content inwards a little bit just to make our ebook look more polished. For that, I like to add a bit of margin to the sides of our pages. So we go to File, Page Setup, and increase these margins to the sides, maybe by 0.2. There it is. The next thing we can do is to add numbers to our pages. For that, you go to Insert, Page Numbers, and here you can choose the position of your numbering. So I'll do bottom right. Another thing you may want to add to your ebook is call to action at the very end. Let's say you have a course to sell on productivity. We can add something like call to action to buy your course. So let's say something like master productivity in 30 days. Click here to start building the iron habits that last forever. I make this bigger a little bit, put it in the center, move it down. And to add a link to your offer, you just highlight it. You can either use this little icon over here to insert the link or Ctrl or Command K and we can put the link here as well www.yoursite.com So now it's turned into a clickable link. So the very last thing we have to do is to find and add images to our ebook. We are going to use a royalty free image site called Freepik but you can also use sites like unsplash.com or Pixabay. You remember we had our outline stored in notes document and also had image placeholders generated with each section. This will help us find our images quickly. So, so let's start with the introduction. I copy these keywords and paste it into Freepik. I like this image here, so I'm going to click on it and download. To insert the image, we just put the cursor at the end of our heading, click enter and go to insert image upload from computer and you locate the image you just downloaded. Here it is, we can keep these options as they are. These settings work well for images within the text. And I'm going to go ahead and find all images required for our ebook. I speed this up and get back to you once I'm done. So I've added all the imagery to our ebook and let's have a look what we've done so far here. So we have created our ebook cover with AI. We added the title page with the title and the offer name. We create a table of contents page. Oh, and one really important thing, if you decide to change any of these headings, for example, you want to say the myth of being busy person, you will notice that this header does not update, meaning that table of contents doesn't update automatically. So for that, you have to do it manually. You just go here and click update table of contents. And now we can see that the header has been updated. I actually like this left alignment here. So uh, I think I'm just going to leave it. And moving on, we can summarize our ebook. We have nice sections with subsections. We have the bullet points, nice imagery. We also have page numbering here on the bottom right. If you want more guidance on how to format your ebook, I will leave a link in the description to the best video on that. But yeah, everything looks pretty much done here. The very last thing we should do is to make this ebook accessible to others. So you can either go to file, click download and export it as PDF. Then you would upload that PDF to somewhere like Google Drive and generate a shareable link that you would deliver to your readers. Or if you want your ebook to be accessible via Google Docs, on the general access you just select from restricted to anyone with the link. So once you copy this link and deliver to your clients or customers, they will be able to access this ebook as a viewer and give it this ebook a read. So that was it. Here's how you can easily create ebook with AI. I will leave a link to all AI prompts in the description below. And if you want to get a done for you ebook from PLRMe, which you can just customize instead of writing it from scratch, I also leave a link in the description, which will let you download an ebook like that completely for free. So I hope you found this video valuable. And if you did, I would appreciate if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.